Hey YouTube, it's Alicia Burton here, and I'm here to talk about the WWE, but what I'm here to talk about, I'm talking about a big um, faction of a family that wrestles in the WWE at the moment. I'm talking about the Wayne The Rock Johnson's um, family, Roman Reigns, um, from Roman Reigns to Nia Jax to Jay and Jimmy Uso, Tamina Snuka, and Jimmy Uso's wife Naomi so without further ado let's get started so the reason I'm wanting to bring this up I've been wanting to do this video for about a year and a half this is when I still had my old channel and I talk, kept saying I will do it I was going to do it but I never did it so now I'm doing it and the reason why I'm doing it I'm finna tell you this I don't get why Vince McMahon does not bank on Roman Reigns, Nia Jax, well, Roman Reigns and Nia Jax, Jay and Jimmy Uso, Tamina Snuka, and Naomi. Well, he, when he, when he wants to, he occasionally just, you know, bank on them for a couple thousand dollars. Excuse me, you had their cousin. Their cousin and cousin in law for so many years, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Why are you not banking on the biggest powerhouse that comes from that Dwayne The Rock Johnson's family? As y'all know, The Rock's father was a wrestler, his grandfather was a wrestler, and his grandmother was a wrestler. So, uh, why not? Okay, that's a Samoan heritage that you need to be banking on at the moment. So let me go. I'm going to go down on each person and tell you how away they need to do it. So one and foremost, they need to um, get rid of the... Um, um, they just need to get up, get away with, start, uh, stop um, with... Um, my thing is having two different brands you have raw and smackdown yeah you can keep those as a brand but have all the superstars part of raw all the superstars part of smackdown and i mean I'm, i mean include nxt being to be part of that um as well excuse me y'all that's one number two to bank on these guys you gotta think they are faction so create them like an evolution. They could be something like a Generation X. Um, Generation X or a Generation X um, evolution or like a new day. But it's dealing with family members. And associated to the family could be Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Okay. And I will do a shield video later uh, um, after this video, I promise you. But my thing is, I just feel like Vince McMahon is not thinking on them. So let's go down the line. So we're going to start with the women of the group, of this family. So we're going to start with Nia Jax. As we know, Nia Jax is the Raw Women's Champion. Um, and she will be going up against, let's see, hmm, going up against... Ronda Rousey coming at Money in the Bank. Okay, they are now starting wanting to bank on that. They can bank even more on that if they brought in Karma. If y'all remember Awesome Khan, better known as Karma, that would be a good female battle of the giants or battle of the female monsters. Okay? Um... Mama don't have nothing to say about that. I have nothing nasty to say about Naya. I, I enjoy seeing Naya wrestle. That's that. And I just feel like they could do a little bit more with her storyline. Now, let me just give you a little thing. I am tired of this uh, Naya Jax, Alex Bliss crap, bullying crap. So, um, I just feel like... Alex Bliss' time as women's champion has time and gone. It's time for you to go to the back of the line and start over, boo-boo. So, it's Nia's time. So, I don't think it should be anybody else at the moment to overshadow it. But, I will say, 
I will say this. I would love to, and I will, I'm going to say, I would love to see Nia Jax versus Mickey James for that women's title belt. That would be an interesting match I would love to see. So, I mean, if, if you think about it, Nia Jax is, a, is the first plus-size re female wrestler in the WWE. Um... I'm not gonna, and I, at a later date, I will tell you why I don't put, uh, why I don't put Natalia in this book. Now, I, when I say Nia Jax, Nia Jax can represent the plus size women in a nice, positive way. She could be getting sponsorships for the WWE from none other. Um, um, the clothing, um, plus size clothing company like Torrid, Ashley Stewart, Lane Bryant, Quake. I hope I pronounced that right. I mean, you name it. Um, Red Dogs, um, Fashion Nova. I mean, you think about it. WWE could be doing that. Okay. So, moving right along. <clears throat> Same thing with Tamina. Tamina Snooker. I don't think Tamina has dropped the ball. I just feel like WWE don't know what to do with her because she was the legendary Jimmy Fly Snooker's daughter. Now, you like going, Alicia, how is Tamina Snooker associated with the Usos and all of them? They are, she's a Snooker. She might be a Snooker, but she, they are some kind of way. They are, I don't know how, but they are cousins. They, I think they're close cut uh first cousins or second cousins something like that and stuff but they're cousins and they're family and I, the way that they i feel like wwe in general has dropped the ball with tamina snooker regardlessly time and time again she has not let me just tell you, since she's been there, she has made an impact. She's one of the biggest female superstars that is underrated. And I'll do a video about that at a later date. Underrated female wrestlers. So why are you pushing everybody else? But hold up. You're not you you haven't gave her that push. You have only made her as a female bodyguard to some female. You have made her a female bodyguard. You made her a female bodyguard to AJ Lee for a very long time. You made her for a while. You made her um, a female bodyguard to Alana. So I feel like it is time for her to have that breakout role. So do I feel like she deserves opportunity for a women's title belt? Oh, yeah. Definitely. And it has been times when the title belt was still as a Divas title belt. She was this close of being champion. And I just hope it when she come back, they just, Vince McMahon, just give her that push that she needs to be. And I feel like I could see her more holding a title belt than Lana. Okay? Yeah, now that was a dick. That's that. Now, with Tamina, Tamina has this hard exterior. And I feel like what needs to go down with her is you can still show that hard exterior, but show her, show some feminine, uh, a feminine, show the hard exterior, but be feminine about it at the same time. But I love her hard exterior. I, I, think, I, I think all little girls look up to Tamina, so who wouldn't? That's number three. Number four, the, the, the last female. The last female I'm going to talk about is Naomi. So Naomi is the sister-in-law to Jay Uso, who is the wife of Jimmy Uso, who is the cousin-in-law to Nia Jax, Tamina Snooker, and Roman Reigns. Now, she has held the women's title belt, and she had a very pretty good reign. Now, I really want to see her back at that top. Now, when I when I see Charlotte, uh, when I see Naomi, Naomi is that top diva. Naomi can actually go against Charlotte Flair. She's up there with Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks, um, Nia, her cousin-in-law, Nia Jax. Um, she's up there with her other cousin-in-law, um, Tamina Snuka, um, and Becky Lynch. Uh, let's see. 
um, and Oscar, she's up there with them. But if I didn't name no names, it's going to be a reason why. I didn't name Juana. I did not name Peyton and Royce because they are beneath Naomi. Let me just say that. They are beneath her. And Naomi, this woman needs to be banking on these three women. These three women could be representing, um, like we got probably two who can represent that plus size, plus size. And then Naomi represents the women who have curves and butts and stuff. And so why you don't get them, get um, opportunities for them? Naomi did get opportunity to do a movie. But I want to see some RW see these three women in a leading a leading role movie. Hold on, y'all. Okay. A leading role movie. And I feel like that's one thing that it is missing in this Divas Division. Now, that's going on none other. Uh now that was for Naya Jazz, Tamina Snooker, and um Naomi. So now we fit to go on the two biggies. Now we're gonna go on Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, well, I will end like end with end with him, but I'm gonna go with Jay and Jimmy Uso. Jay and Jimmy Uso has had a great reign as tag team champions. I love it. Now they have been tag team champions on both brands, Raw and SmackDown. They have had real good. Now, Vince needs to go and see, oh, these guys that sell tag team titles from on Raw and on SmackDown. Hmm. Let me push them a little more. Let me push them to gain, regain that title, regain those tag team title belts from the Bludgeon Brothers. I would see a one more, see another. I mean, that is that. But, I mean... I mean, I think it was just too soon for the um, Vince to take the um, title belts off of Jay and Jimmy Usos to put them on the um, Bludgeon Brothers. It was just that's just my 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 what I see um, particularly. I respect the Bludgeon Brothers as a team and as a tag team and everything, but I think it was just too soon to take them off Jay and Jimmy Usos. The fans is not too pleased with him about that, so I'm just gonna say this. As a fan, I wasn't too pleased of him quickly taking it off of them. I just felt like um, that should have been like a year down the line when they do it there. And Jay and Jimmy Uso is needing to be more pushed. And I promise you, I mean, it, it'll probably be more sponsors that will come if they was working with the Usos, Jay and Jimmy Uso. But they have they individually. They are individuals. But I love how they... um. Love how they um, incorporate the heritage some kind of way between Jay and Jimmy Uso, Roman Reigns, Natalia, um, Naomi, Tamina Snuka. Now they um, bring in that heritage and everything. But this is one thing I want to see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to something else in a minute. But I really, really. Now we went from Jay and Jimmy Uso to. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is one of the biggest superstars in my eyes. He's one of the biggest ones. He's up there. He's like that top superstar. I'm telling y'all, I reliterate this in every video I do. I feel like Roman Reigns will be the guy if John Cena retired. This is the guy who will replace John Cena. I cannot see no other guy replacing him. But Roman Reigns has that quality. He don't have that John Cena quality. He has that quality like his cousin has. He has that Dwayne The Rock Johnson quality he has. That's the quality he has because think of the legacy he's coming he coming in on. He's coming in on, on a lot of people. And I just feel like it's great. You, I mean, his father was a wrestler. Um, his brother was a wrestler. His grandfather was a wrestler. His aunts and uncles was wrestlers. So why does Vince does not bank more on this family? You, I mean, this is a family that you got in your in in your myth. You do not need to blow blow they um what they do or anything. That that WWE um when it comes to this the Usos Jay from Jay and Jimmy Uso. Jay and Jimmy Uso, Roman Reigns, 
um, Tamina, 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 um, Naomi, his cousin-in-law, the um, cousin-in-law, and Nia Jax, all of them makes what WWE is. So those are the, I will really say, this, this is a group of family members that should be paid a little more because you have a family, a family dynamic in the WWE right now. And that's the people you need to be banking on. Yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to have a lot to say about Charlotte Flair and everything. And stuff, because I got a lot of people I want to talk about. But I will say this. I want to say this. These are people who needs to be doing. Move people who could be like Roman Reigns and Jay and Jimmy Uso, including Natalia. All these, all of them could be bringing, be doing movie top blockbuster movie roles. Oh, Roman Reigns did one movie and that was it. We haven't heard seen nothing else. Boom. I'm going to get to that. Come back to that in a minute. That they need, they can bring in products. They can, um, the women can be sponsored by female clothing companies. It's, it's endless with the, what, um, what Nia Jax and Naomi and Tamina Snuka can do, including the guys. They can be, be, be um, doing clothing companies as well. Now, getting to that, I will say this. I'm going to say this, y'all. The one thing I will say is the following. Excuse me. And I'm going to say it. Roman Reigns take, is one of the best wrestlers. To me, he's one of the best technical. And he, he, one of the biggest things that make Roman Reigns him is the Superman punch and his spear. Now, I will say this. I give him credit where credit is due. And, um, he has this, and I don't know if any female will agree with me, but he has this star quality. I see a star quality from him. Don't always rely on the Miz and Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, but they are good wrestlers, I will admit. But Roman Reigns and his family, that's where you need to be banking Vince McMahon. And um, now before I go, I will say this. The only thing, the reason I bring up Roman Reigns a lot is because I'm a huge fan. I feel like a lot of things, things that uh, Vince McMahon and Triple H and Stephanie does, they do it to screw him over. And i just not too thrilled about it. And I'm going to tell y'all this. If y'all don't know the Scorpion franchise, I have, I have, I have them on. I will um, um, show you at a later date. I have one, two, three, four, and five. I have all five. I think it's four or five. It's one of them, but I have all of them. Now, if they was right now filming, um, Excuse me, if the director from Scorpion King was filming right now, and let's say the guy who played um, Victor Weber, who played Messiah, who took over for The Rock, if he didn't come back, Roman Reigns would be a true in to play that character, Messiah, because number one, The Rock is his cousin. Who would not hire Roman Reigns to play Messiah off of no, no, to come in and play Messiahs <clears throat> and Scorpion King. It would just be a shoe win because none other Roman Reigns. I noticed this Roman Reigns and Victor Rubber, who plays Messiahs in the last three, um, in the last three movies, um, looks just like Roman Reigns. And we're gonna, I'm gonna come back at a later date and talk about. WWE look like straight on dead gone look lookalikes because I'm gonna come back and talk about that. But until then, y'all, I want to hear your um your opinion of what I feel like um the, why um Roman Reigns them need to be pushed more. Until then, I'm Alicia Burton. Um, before I go, and the question of the day on this video is: Do you believe Roman Reigns, Jay, and Jimmy Uso? 
um, Tamina, Tamina, Naomi, and Tamina. Well, let's just say Roman's reign whole family that's in the WWE at the moment. Do you believe WWE needs to push them much more than what they're being pushed? Okay, y'all. I'm Alicia Burton. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.